हेलो दिस इज वेन डायग्राम लेसन थ्री पॉइंट वन इन दिस आई विल डिस्कस क्वेश्चन ऑन थ्री वेरिएबल वेन डायग्राम बिफोर गोइंग थ्रू दिस लेसन यू हैव टू फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द लेसन नंबर थ्री बेसिक्स ऑफ थ्री वेरिएबल वेन डायग्राम नाउ इफ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड दैट लेसन यू हैव टू पोस्ट द वीडियो ट्राई टू सोल्व ईच एंड एवरी क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट बाय योर सेल्फ देन लुक एट द वे आई हैव सोल्व नाउ क्वेश्चन इज दैट डायरेक्शन फॉर क्वेश्चन वन टू फाइव आंसर द क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द फॉलोइंग डायग्राम नाउ द थ्री सेट्स आर गिवन सेट ए द टोटल वैल्यू इज टू हंड्रेड सेट बी द टोटल वैल्यू इज टू फिफ्टी सेट सी द टोटल वैल्यू इज थ्री हंड्रेड नाउ वी नीड टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वाई एंड जेड फर्स्ट वी विल फिल दिस डायग्राम नाउ कैन सेट कंप्लीट बी सर्कल दिस कंप्लीट बी सर्कल और बी सेट दिस इज टू फिफ्टी नाउ इफ यू एड दिस वन This is one fifty plus twenty plus thirty. Total is two hundred. Now what should be Z? Z would be fifty. So you can say that Z would be fifty. Then only this complete B circle will become two fifty. So you can say that Z this equals to fifty. Z will be equals to fifty. That I am putting Z will be equals to fifty. Now this complete C circle, this C circle or C set must be equals to three hundred. Now two hundred plus fifty plus thirty. This becomes two eighty. Can I say that y should be equals to this? Y should be equals to twenty. We got the value of y twenty. Now a circle should be equals to two hundred. So if you add this twenty thirty fifty plus twenty seventy. Now what should be this? X should be one thirty. That then only this will become total two hundred. Now we have completely filled this. Uh, Three variable Venn diagram, none is equals to zero. Now we can start solving the first question. What is the number of elements in Y? Number of element elements in Y would be equals to twenty, and that will be our final answer. Question number two. What is the number of elements belonging to at least two sets? Now when I say that at least two sets, it means that two sets or more than two sets. So. When I say at least, it means that we will cover the elements in two sets. That is exactly two sets. We will count those elements who are there in exactly two sets plus we will count the elements which are there in exactly three sets. Then we will get our answer. Now exactly two means that. The, the, those belong to two sets. Now you can see that this fifty, this fifty z z belongs to exactly two sets B and C. So z belongs to exactly two sets. That is fifty. Twenty belongs to exactly two sets A and B. This y again twenty belongs to exactly two sets A and C, and this thirty belongs to all the three sets. So in this way, we will get elements that belongs to at least two sets. So answer will be fifty plus twenty plus twenty ninety plus thirty one twenty will be our final answer. Next is what is the number of elements belonging to at most one set? Now at most one set means maximum one set, and minimum could could be zero. So we will count those elements belongs to belonging to exactly One set plus those who belongs to none, and that will be equals to maximum one set. Maximum one set, so it could be one or zero set. Those element which belong to one set and those belongs to none. Now one means exactly one, exactly one set. It would be one thirty. Now you get this one thirty belonging to exactly one set that is A. One fifty belongings to. Exactly one set B and two hundred belongs to exactly one set that is C and zero belongs to none. So if you add this, you will get the number of element belonging to at most one set. So you add this, this will become one thirty plus one fifty, that is two eighty plus two hundred four eighty will be our final answer. Now question number four. What is the number of elements belonging to A or B but not C? Now, when I say A or B, 
it means that we have to count everything that is there in set A as well as set B. This is set A, this green circle I am making, this is set A and this is set B. When I say that A union B, it means that we have to count everything that is there in set A as well as set B. So it means that when I say A or B, this will be equals to X plus 20 plus 150 plus y plus 30 plus z this is equals to x set a or b but the question says that but not c we need a or b but not c a or b but not c this is the complete thing that we want we want a or b but not c so not c means that we have to remove c circle completely if you remove c circle elements of the circle c when I say not C, it means that we don't have to include the elements of C. So from A or B, remove the elements of C. That is Y, 30 and Z. This Y, 30 and Z, apart from belonging to A and B, also belongs to C. But we won't want the circle C. So we'll remove them. What is left? X plus 20 plus 150. This will be equal to those elements belongs to A or B, but not C. So 130 is the value of x, you know this. So 130 plus 20, this is equals to 150 plus 150, 300 will be our final answer. Now question number 5 is how many elements belong to at least one set? Now when I say that at least one set, we need to found those elements that is belonging to exactly one set. Ex1 means exactly one set. We need to count those belong to exactly two sets. And then we also need to add those belong to exactly three sets because we have three kinds of uh, elements. Those belong to exactly one, those belong to exactly two and those belong to exactly three. We don't need to count the none portion. Now when I say exactly one, this is 130 that is x plus 150 that belongs to only b and then 200 that belongs to only c. So this is the exactly one part. So exactly one part is 130 plus 150 plus 200. Exactly two. This 20 belongs to, this 20 belongs to, I'm just making a tick. This 20 belongs to exactly A and B both. This Z belongs to exactly B and C, that is 50. This Y belongs to exactly A and C, this is 20. Exactly three. Exactly three means 30 belongs to all the Three. So th that will be our final answer. If you add this, this is 480, this is 90, this is 30. So total would be 90, 30, 120 plus 480 answer would be 600. 600 will be our final answer. Now directions for question 6 to 10. A group of 200 students is planning to go for a picnic. 80 uh, among them love beaches, 70 loves hills and 90 loves desert. So it means that it's a three variable question. So first we have to make the diagram. Now total are 200, total we will write outside this rectangle. 80 loves beaches, this means beach circle complete value is 80. 75 loves hills, this complete circle of hills, its value will be 75. 90 loves desert, so this desert circle its value will be equals to 90 this complete circle value now 30 among them love both hills and desert so it means that the common reason to hill and desert this is the common reason i am making with red this red this is the common reason common area to both hill as well as desert circle now this a complete is equals to 30 now in this there will two value will come one value let's say this is x and this value is y x plus y will be equal to 30 now what is x what is y we don't know so we can leave this line we will solve this line later next is 25 love both beaches and desert it's very similar and 35 loves both hill and beaches it's again a similar thing now look at this last line 20 students among them love hills beaches as well as desert it means that 20 among them out of 200 love all the three things it means that 
this will be value of x x is the area which is belonging to all the three circle this is equal to this part is equal to 20 this is 20 the common area to all the three circle now we know that read the now we will read the statement 30 among them love both hills and desert now this hills and desert means this shaded region i have made earlier this complete is the hills and desert this the circle i am making this is the common area of hills and desert this is complete is 30 so 20 is this so this will be equal to 10 total this area is 30 now after this 25 love both beaches and desert now when i say beaches and desert this will be the part beaches and desert this common area to both the circle beach and desert this complete area is 25 now this is 20 this will be equals to 5 same way 35 love both hills and beaches so this area will be hills and beaches common region will be 35 now this is 20 this will be equals to 15 now we can fill the rest of the parts the total beach sir beaches circle is 80 if you add this 15 plus 5 20 20 20 40 this will be equals to 40 total area total value of beach circle must be equals to 80 total value of hill circle must be equals to 75 now if you add this 15 plus 20 35 plus 10 this is 45 so this is will be equals to 30 same way total value of desert circle must be equals to 90 so you add this 20 plus 10 30 35 35 this will be equals to 55 so that will make the total value of the desert circle as 90 now the total value of this uh, total value inside the rectangle or this square must be equals to 200 now if you add all the values within the circle this beach circle you can see that beach circle this is equals to 80 outside the beach circle the values are 30 10 and 55 now i have added all the values that are there in these three circles this complete beach circle is 80 that i have taken after outside the beach circle this is 30 10 and 55 this is 80 plus 40 120 plus 50, 55 175 will be the uh, sum of all the values that are there in these three circles so none part those who do not like any of the three places will be 25 so this will be equal to 25 so that total becomes the 200 so that is how we have solved this uh, three variable Venn diagram now you can simply solve the questions in exam you can fill this diagram uh, in one or two minutes I have taken time just in order to explain you the things question number six how many students love only desert only desert means this is 55 question number seven is how many students do not love either hills or desert now first I will calculate this part either hills or desert what it means that either hills or desert simply means that those who likes hills desert as well as both so it means that when I say hills or desert it means that everything that is there present in the circle of hill and desert that will be counted in the portion of hill or desert this is the blue that I have made this this is the hill or desert so it means that 15 30 20 10 5 55 everything will be included in hills or desert but the question is not asking about hills or desert question is asking about do not love hills or desert do not means that we don't have to include this so what it means that outside the area of hills or desert now what lies outside the area of hills and desert this 40 lies outside this area and this 25 none is also outside the uh, area of hills or desert so answer will be this 40 plus 25 answer will be 65 are the number of students who do not love either hills or big deserts next is how many students love hills or beaches now when i say hills or beaches it means that we have to count 
everything that is there in both the circle of hills and beaches or logically it means that those who love hills those who loves beaches and those who loves both hill as well as beaches so this will be part i'm making with this yellow hill or beaches this is the yellow line i'm making this common area will belongs to hills or beaches so this will be equals to can i say this equals to 40 plus 15 plus 20 plus 5 plus 30 and 10 80 30 uh, 110 plus 10 120 will be your final answer question number nine is how many students love beaches or hills but not desert beaches or hills when i say beaches or hills it simply means that everything that comes in the circle of beach and hill will be counted now what it means that beach or hills first this is equals to 40 plus 15 plus 20 plus 5 plus 30 plus 10 it means that i have taken all the values that are there in circle of beach as well as hills now the question does not say this the question says that beaches or hills but not desert so we will remove the numbers that belongs to desert because we don't want desert so can you can see that this 5 this third this 20 and this 10 these belongs to the circle of desert also so we have to remove this so what we will left with 14 plus 15 plus 30 this will be equals to 40 30 70 plus 15 85 will be our final answer now question number 10 how many students do not love hills it simply means that do not love hills means outside the circle of hill do not love hill means outside hills we have to count everything look at the values outside the circle of hill this 40 is outside the circle of hill this 5 this 55 is also outside the circle of hill these three values these three values are outside the circle of hill do do not love hill miss outside the circle of hill also this 25 also li li uh, lies outside the circle of hills so if you add this 40 this is 60 40 60 100 100 plus 25 125 will be our final answer so that was all about this lesson i have discussed 10 questions uh, in detail i have explained very slowly so that you can understand what i want you to say